A former Pasco police officer who may be responsible for a Spokane murder makes his first appearance in Superior Court tomorrow. Richard Aguirre will be arraigned on a third degree rape charge after allegedly forcing himself on a female relative last year. KXY4 Jeff Humphrey working for you tonight on how DNA from that investigation has implicated Aguirre in a 1986 murder of a Spokane prostitute. This murder happened more than 28 years ago. The victim found here had been working as a prostitute, yet Spokane police are pursuing this cold case like it happened yesterday. And a woman who has spent decades helping to keep these ladies safe and healthy is grateful for those detectives' diligence. I think it's important for any crime victim to have justice, but especially for people who are marginalized and prostituted people are very marginalized. Lynn Everson coordinates the regional health district's needle exchange program and so she has regular contact with drug addicted prostitutes. Beginning in 1996 when someone had killed more than a half dozen Spokane women using the same gun, police and sheriff's detectives turned to Everson to win their trust. There were people who really didn't care what happened to the women who were murdered by Robert Yates. And yet law enforcement in our community took that case very seriously. As part of that investigation, Everson shared with the detectives a list of men and their vehicles who mistreated prostitutes. She unfortunately still updates that file on a regular basis. The men who pick women up regard them primarily as objects, objects for which they have paid and that they can do whatever they want with. Detectives say DNA evidence links former Pasco police officer Richard Aguirre to Doss's murder. Now they're trying to do the same thing with the cars Aguirre was driving at the time of the homicide. And Aguirre's divorce paperwork has given them a place to start. The one thing Lynn Everson won't tell us is whether or not she is helping Spokane police investigate Mr. Aguirre, that former officer making his first court appearance on an unrelated rape case from 2014 in Pasco tomorrow. Reporting in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.